What's happening everybody? Farley here and I want to do a reaction video. Uh, the reason why I'm calling this a reaction instead of a review is, you know, I think that this comic, and I'm talking about The Walking Dead 192, uh, I think that this comic will take a little while to process to give a proper review. Uh, but my first reactions, I just finished reading it and so they're, my reactions and, and my feelings are fresh and so I wanted to do this video to kind of go over that. Now, that being said, if you are reading the comic, I would tell you uh, that if you're not caught up and you don't want to know what happens in 192, there will be spoilers in my reaction video. So you might want to turn it off now. You've been warned. Now, if you watch the TV show and not the comic, this is not really going to have any impact on the TV show because in the TV show, uh, if you're caught up, uh, Rick is missing, left on the helicopter, and then of course Carl is deceased. So the storylines uh, are not uh, running along parallel lines. They are so you don't have to worry about me spoiling anything with the TV show. That being said, uh, let's get into this and let's uh, talk about my reactions to this. Uh, I would love if to to know your reactions uh, if you've read this issue, uh, what you think, and uh, yeah. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of varying opinions on this. And that I've already seen a lot. So, all right. So let's get into this. So last issue, 191, you see the governor of the Commonwealth, well, former, her son, Sebastian, shoots Rick Grimes. And that's kind of where they leave it. Now, if you thought that there was going to be any kind of buildup to the death of Rick Grimes, it happens like page three. Uh, they open right up where Sebastian has shot him, and Sebastian's like, oh, gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, and then just does a mag dump, pretty much, on Rick Grimes. So shoots him several more times, and then you get this splash page, the, the death, pretty much, right there, of Rick Grimes. Uh, so apparently, Sebastian goes on the run. And um, Rick's body kind of lays there, and you see the sunlight, or sorry, nighttime, and transition into daytime. So he stays there all night. Why nobody heard the gunshots? Yeah, I'm not sure. But nobody hears the gunshots, so Rick spends all night. So what probably happens if he's there that long? That's right. He transitions. He's not shot in the head by Sebastian, so he transitions into a zombie um, here's the hardest part of my first reaction here is we've spent so much time in the comic book with, with Rick trying to instill some optimism in Carl. Carl's so, you know, negative all the time and, uh, you know, he kind of goes up and down emotionally. He's a teenager. Is he still a teenager? Anyway, he's still young. Um, but one of the things Rick, you know, talked to him about is, uh, you know, is having faith. The having a place like the Commonwealth means that there's hope. You know, and even though all these different things are going on at the Commonwealth, Rick still believes that it's a, um, you know, it's a place that can be studied and replicated, and you know, that's how you take back over the earth. And he's trying to instill all of this in Carl. And Carl, you know, he's back and forth between uh, being positive, being negative. Well. The next scene, Carl wakes up, he goes around, he's going through town, and, you know, he's feeling pretty good. Somebody says, hey, uh, there's a real good pancake place in town if you want to go. So Carl's like, pancakes? What? So he's, he's like, yeah, I'm going to go eat some pancakes, but let me go get my pops. And then you get the discovery. Carl uh, going to get Rick to take him to get pancakes, and he finds him turned. And then he... Puts him down with a headshot, which is weird because in the comics he in the comics he doesn't kill his mom. Uh, at the TV show, he kills Lori with a, a headshot. In the uh, comics, that's how he kills his dad, even though his dad's turned. So then you get the scene. You know, Carl's like, you know, what has happened? He's on the floor. You know, he's crying, and. Uh, he's comforted by Michonne. Um, 
And then the ex-governor, Milton, Pamela Milton, calls him, wants to talk. Apparently two days have gone by now. Uh, he meets with her, and she's like, they found the killer. It's my son, Sebastian. He's been on the run for two days. But we found him, and all Carl wants to know is, will he be punished? And she, uh, the governor, Pamela, she's crying. She goes, he was, I love my son, but he'll spend the rest of his life in jail. Then Carl goes and visits Sebastian in jail and basically, you know, just says, uh, Sebastian starts whining. Oh, you know, I had this great life before your dad came and that's why I killed him. And Carl's like, shut up. I don't feel any sorrow for you. Uh, you know, one ever liked you in this town, which is true. Um, and he tells him, he goes, your mom was worried that I might kill you, uh, you know, to revenge my father. But I like this better. It's what my dad would have wanted, which is true. Instead of killing Sebastian, he would rather the law uh, get involved and Sebastian, you know, serve his sentence and there not be any vigilante justice as part of the whole thing of being, um, you know, a modern civilized society. Uh, yeah, and, he, and Carl even says, my dad taught me that. It's more civilized. So, but he does tell him before he leaves, but if you ever break out of here, I will hurt you. And then Carl says, I'll be seeing you, Tata. And then we get to, uh, Carl wants to take his dad's body back and bury him in Alexandria. Some people wanted him to be buried at the Commonwealth, but no, he's like, no, I'm taking him back to Alexandria. That's where he would want to, uh, that's where he would want to be buried next to Andrea. In the comic book, Carl, Carl, Rick and Andrea have a relationship instead of Michonne. Um, Michonne goes with him, and then um, it turns out all of these people want to go back with him, accompany the body, which I think is pretty cool. And then probably the best two panel, or I don't know what you call these, little mini panels, is this pretty much everybody, I don't want to say everybody, but a lot of the people whose lives have been affected by uh, Rick Grimes, and I'm sure will be affected by his death. And then finally... At the end, uh, Carl's been holding everything in to be strong. He finally, they're on their way to Alexandria. He finally just kind of breaks down and says, you know, I don't know how I'll go on without him. So, and that's where it ends. Then you get into the letter hacks and you get into the part where um, Robert Kirkman goes in to explain, you know, why, not why he did it, but uh, to explain himself a little bit and, um, to me, it doesn't. It's not a shock. Uh, the comic has always killed off, you know, not well, man, main figures, but likable figures, you know. And of course, this is this is the character whose eyes we see most of everything that's happened for 192 issues. And of course, you know, people have come and gone, but in the comic, Rick's always been there, and, and he's not always been at his best. You know, we've seen, we've been so, been through a lot with Rick, you know, emotionally, uh, you know, with his wife and with the Prez and then and losing everyone and starting over and thinking Alexandria is going to be, you know, this awesome place and then having to fight for it and all these things. Uh, everything's kind of been told, you know, through him um, and, and his interactions with people. And now that ends. And, and I, you know, my guess will be is, is we will start to see you know, a lot of what happens through Carl. But I'm not shocked and I'm not angry. And let me tell you, I've read a lot of comments uh, today um, earlier. Yeah, it got spoiled for me earlier before I read it, but I kind of already knew. Um, you know, people are mad. I'm not going to read it anymore. First, the TV show. Now the comic book. And then there was a lot of people saying they only did this to go along with the TV show, which... Pretty much, he dispels that in the in the back of the book, and I really don't see how that would really work because in the TV show, Carl's gone, Rick's missing, and Carl's dead. So I don't really know how they could try to tie in the comic book with the TV show. It's always been the TV shows mirrored after the comic book. Of course, they they don't take the same path, you know, you know, in a lot of ways. But uh, so to me, this wasn't shocking. This is a comic that uh, 
they've said from the very beginning, uh, people are going to die in this book. Nobody's going to make it all the way through. People, you know, there's going to be deaths, and, and, and we've seen a few births, but nobody's going to make it to the end. And they have not wavered uh, from killing off main characters or important characters or lovable characters. It's because in the real world, if this were really happening, that wouldn't happen anyway. It's not like in a real, if, if there was such a thing, if there was a real zombie apocalypse, only you know, the bad people would get in and all the good people would live and, and fight, you know. It's not, so it wouldn't happen in real life, so why should it happen in the comic book? There's going to be people who who die that it's going to, you know, hurt, or you're going to miss, or you're going to like, how can, you know, how can they kill them off now? They're such an important part of this story. How do I go on? Those are the same questions that if this were a real life event, you know, people would have to ask, you know. How do we go on without this person? And, uh, you know, emotionally, how am I going to go on? You know, it, it, it hurts. And so the comic has never shied away from that. Uh, so my first reaction is, is I'm not shocked. Um, I'm not mad. I hate to lose, you know, Rick Grimes in the story. But now we get to see maybe a new direction in terms of uh, how the story is told. Well, definitely. Um not that it's told through the first person, Rick Grimes, but most of the interactions involve Rick in the book. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to continue reading and, and go from there. I think you really can't, I know a lot of people are like, I'm not going to read this uh, comic again. I would say give a sh to see what happens after, give it a few more, and then make that decision. But that's, you know, that's up to everybody. There's a lot of knee-jerk reactions sometimes with people. Uh when a comic doesn't go the, the way that they want to be or they want it to go. And, um, yeah, but like I said, this is a comic that is not scared to do things to upset their readers. They've been doing it for a while now. And, you know, this is probably the biggest, but it, they've never said Rick would live forever. I don't know. It's, it's never promised that someone's going to live through and, um, in, in any comic, but I know plenty of comics where the, the character gets stale and it gets old and you know, they, they carry on too long with that character and they, or they have to keep reinventing the character. In this, this is mirrored after, you know, what really could happen if there was some type of zombie apocalypse. Again, I know there can be. But if there were, what would happen? You know, it, you know good people would die. Maybe not right away. Maybe they get to live forever. And Rick's not always been the, the best guy in the comics. He's had his bad moments as well. But, you know, he's somebody that we followed for a long time and now we can't. But I'm excited to see what happens. So I'm going to quit rambling here. Uh, 13 minutes talking about this thing. And uh, you guys take care. You guys and gals, let me know what you think. And we'll talk to you soon. Fall out.